Alrighty guys, welcome back to some more custom zombies here on what I well today I'm playing a brand new map called Raised by Poisson. Now, this is a pretty cool map because you get to probably sure that you see that some more, but you get to pick what weapon you want to start off with. Either the Court M1911, the CZ75, or the ASP. And I picked the ASP just because I like the ASP and zombies. But yeah, this map does have a pretty cool Easter egg as well. I'm just, I'm just going to let these guys in because there's a drop that you can get that I really want to try and get, which is Fire Cell. Now, as you can see, there's a box location in here. I can get Fire Cell and be able to hit the box and be able to get a better weapon than the ASP. So I really want to try and get that because this map has all Black Ops 1 weapons. I don't think there's any Black Ops 2 weapons, but probably the best weapon you can get is the RPK. Which I will try and get. And look, you got 250 points for surviving round. So that's awesome. You can also get the ray gun, but ray gun would just kill myself without PhD. So I kind of want to try and see if I can get the RPK. But I never got any drops, so that kind of sucks. There's also zombie blood in this map that we've seen in Origins. Well, of course Origins. And also the Swan um, custom map also had that, if you guys remember. So, Zombie Bread, of course, does it let the zombies come after you. But on this, they just stand there once you get Zombie Bread. They don't move, so... Yeah, you could just take a few hits on them. But on the Swan, they actually went to a specific spot. On this, they do not. I'm getting, like, no drops right now. You have no drops. Well, that kind of sucks. No drops at all, so... Yeah, I can still get file sale. Um, I've gotten file sale one time in this first room, so that was pretty awesome whenever I did get it. But now we can go ahead and get the MP5K. There's also another power up that um, gives you a free random perk for about a minute, it seems like. So that's a pretty awesome drop. We've seen. Oh, crap. We've seen power-ups that um, gave you a free perk forever until you went down, of course. But this one actually gives you it for just a minute. Gives you all the effects for a minute. So that's pretty awesome. Definitely want to try and see if I can get that and hopefully get Jug to help me out on these beginning areas. Because this is a pretty tough map to try and survive in. But hopefully they will be good. Now we got a 1250 button right here. And the debris are pretty expensive on this as well. But yeah, this does this map does have a pretty intense Easter egg that I know a couple steps into it, but I don't know like all the steps. I do know a couple beginning steps, and the first step is pretty hard to try and survive because you gotta survive in this tiny room um, for a couple rounds. While the zombies are coming in at you from all directions and you cannot leave that room, so... Yeah, no spoilers, but... Even though I kind of spoiled it for you guys, but still. You guys will see what I'm talking about a bit later. Assuming we make it though. I mean, it's the first step, so hopefully we will. But we got a nice double point. Sadly, double points does not work for the surviving around points at the end of the round. Sadly, you do not get 500 if you got double points at the end of the round. But you do get double points nuke and carpenter on this, so that's nice. Okay, so now that we're in here, we got Jug. And we also got a 2000 for that debris. Now they can come from that way, and they can also drop down from there. So gotta watch out for that. But they can't come behind us, so... It's a pretty good camp spot right here. Till you gotta reload, of course, then you're pretty much dead. Especially if you got a lot of zombies chasing you. But I'm not going out there. I'm just going to wait here. Let the zombies come to me. The heck was that smoke? I have no idea. Just go ahead and kill those while I got insta-kill on. Okay, so we got enough to open up this door. And that's also where the box is at. So let's just go ahead and open up in there. Hit the box. See what we can get. Seriously? 
Okay, come on. And there's no monkeys from what I know on this map. I could not get, see any monkeys from the box. I got two snipers. Are you joking me? Oh my gosh. Let's just buy that. We need a good weapon to survive. Okay. AK-74 used pretty good, but not the best. Not what I wanted, but still. Now, this seemed like the best train spot, even though this is not even the best. Well, it seemed like the best, but it's still pretty difficult to survive in here. But hopefully, we'll be good. Now, there is 12 zombies there, so I kind of want to go get Quick Revive as well. Because we still got a while before we go to the power. And there is a, um, a fun and exciting way to turn the power. A unique way, I guess you could say. And I will be doing that, of course. Of course I'll be doing that, because I need to get power turned on and get my perks. So let's just go and buy that. Probably should have bought some MP5 K ammo as well, but oh well. Okay, come on. Oh my gosh, I want that ray gun so bad. That ray gun will help so much. Oh. Oh, I got speed color for a little bit, so that'll help. Oh my gosh, why you don't die? Oh my gosh, that lucky zombie bro, though. As you can see, they just stand around, though. But you can easily get some, a couple hits in on them. That was a lucky zombie bro, though. Thought I was gonna go down for sure. Okay. So there's still 14 zombies left. Kind of hard to see with zombie blood though. Oh, let's go hit the box. Let's go hit the box and try to get the ray gun or the RPK. One of the two. That's not what I wanted at all. Come on, come on. Oh, jeez. Oh my gosh, are you joking me right now? I will hit the box again. Okay, got one more hit in on it. Oh, come on. Just give me a good weapon for once. Hate the M16. Okay. Come on, give me the ray gun or something. I need it. This box just trolls me. I know I should probably focus on getting Jug, but I need the Ray Gun. Finally. This is good until you gotta reload, though. What is that? I don't know. Oh, that gave me Death or Daiquiri. Now, what this does is I don't know if it increases head charge as well, but it gives you more ammo in your guns. See, I'm supposed to have a hundred bullets, but now I got. 827 oh my gosh okay that was kind of close but yeah it's pretty cool it gives you more ammo and you can also buy this perk as well so definitely worry about that but like I said it's the death or daiquiri perk machine but I don't know if it actually increases headshot damage on this map or if it just does this it may do both of them okay let's just go ahead and grab that now, I think I'm just going to focus on getting Jug real quick. The reason why I was doing that is because I got stuck on that one time, and that was, that was not good. And with that drop, you can constantly keep on reloading the RPK, which is kind of annoying. Kind of annoying, because it went over the max ammo that you can have in a clip, which is 127 on what I wore. Which is why whenever people have it above 127, you have like unlimited ammo for a little bit. Because you still have that ammo, but it's like the game thinks you don't, basically. Kind of weird how it works. Okay. Once I got reload, I'm pretty much dead. Can't work at that. Okay, good. Still three zombies left, though. 
Oh, I did not want to kill all of them. Okay, let's just open up there. I'm nearly out of RPK ammo. Come need to hit the box and hope to get a ray gun. Come on, ray gun. Oh, no. Freaking teddy bear. Okay, I need a max ammo big time. Don't know if I can survive with just the AK-74U. Okay, we're gonna have to reload in a minute. Sound like the box were over that way. Okay, let's just reload. Oh my gosh. No, don't hit me. Okay, that was close. And now I'm out of ammo. Crap. Okay, that's kind of not good. Go, 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 go. Oh no. Okay, good. Still eight zombies left. We got nice 10k points though. Okay, I got a crawler, so that's good. A bit fast, but it'll do. Oh no. Oh no. Too fast. There's a slow one back there though, so. Let's just kill those guys. Okay, good. Okay. So now we gotta turn on that and see. Three interruptions in connection. So, what that basically means is we need to come... Oh, there's the box. Okay. So, that means we need to come over this way. And hit this one. And look. It dims up... Or it brightens up the room a little bit. So, that's pretty awesome. It goes bright and then it goes dark. And here's a new perk. We got Thunder Run. But I'm not exactly sure what that does. But I'll definitely be buying that at some point. I do not want to go down with this last zombie. Okay, so we got that. We got this one. And then we got the one over this way. Right here. And now we can get... Oh, no. Now we got to go turn on the power switch again. And then we can get Jug. So that's a pretty awesome way to turn on the power. I like how whenever you turn on one of them, it like brightens up the area. Looks pretty awesome. And now it turns on for all, forever. So that's pretty awesome. Okay, so now we can go get Jug. I got enough to hit the box a couple of times as well. Okay, so we got Jug now. Now, I kind of want to go hit the box a little bit more. Try and get the ray gun. Because, I mean, I got the RPK. Not the best for running until I get stamina up, but still. Uh, I'm not going to get rid of this weapon just yet. The AK-74U. Now, there is a pretty good training spot over there. You just got to open up one more door. Past that 2,000, but they're both 2,000, so I don't got enough, sadly. Would have had enough if I never if I never hit the box, but I need that ray gun. The AUG, I'm not taking it. I don't even want the HK. There is the HK in there, but I don't want two LMGs. That'll just be torture. Okay, come on, give me the ray gun. Yes. First time getting the ray gun on this map. Okay, so we got the ray gun. And we got the RPK. Probably the best setup you can have. Like I said, like I said, there is no monkey bombs in the box. So, yeah. And look, right here we need the key. But I'm not exactly sure where the key is. Guessing you'll come across it once you do a couple more of the Easter egg. But now that we got the ray gun, I feel more confident. I do need to get PhD though. Hopefully PhD works on this map. I can't remember if it did an overflow or not. Oh my gosh, that's so many zombies. Oh, ray gun for the win. Ray gun for the absolute win. But I also need to get speed color for it as well. Okay, zombies are kind of glitching out right now. Okay. I do want to save ammo, but I kind of need to use it. Where is that zombie going? Die.
Okay, so that's that zombie. Okay, now I want to go to my train, my training spots right now. Because like I said, it is a pretty epic train spot. Even though I got the ray gun, I still don't trust myself with that other area. But I trust myself with this area. Just open up that. And open up this. This is what stamina up is, is. And look how big this area is. You also got the Uzi that you can buy if you want to. But yeah, look how epic this area is. Definitely a pretty good spot. Once you get stamina up, speed cola, and PhD with the ray gun, you will never die. But this is not where you got to survive a couple rounds once you do a step of the Easter egg. I'll be getting to that eventually. But for now, I just need to get all my perk set up and make sure I got plenty of ammo before I gotta go to that. Because I've never done it before, so... Well, I've done it, but I ended up dying. Now, in this spot, they do spawn mostly... Oh, no. They do spawn mostly in here, but they also come through the door. As you can see, those two are coming. Or more than two, actually. Okay. Now, see, just group them up. Try not to kill them too much. And now you can kill them. There's a drop. Or not. Thought I heard one. Okay, two left. Okay, let's just save that zombie. I need to go get PhD right now. Hopefully PhD works on this map. Once I get PhD, I'll focus on getting speed cola and then focus on getting stamina. Because I need speed cola as well. Ray gun just reloads too slow. Okay, please work. Yes, nice. So PhD works. So that's a good sign. I do need max ammo eventually though. But your PhD does work, so that is a good sign. You can never tell with custom apps if PhD is going to work or not. Heading on to round 13. We are doing things. Okay. Now, like I said, I do need to try and group them up, so... I think I'm just going to stay over on this side for now. Yeah, I can group them up pretty nicely right here. Since I got PhD, I should be worried about spraying the ray gun on my feet. Just to save myself. Oh, no. Okay. So yeah, I'm just going to train them for a little bit until I, and then I'll kill them. Once I got all of them in. Okay, I think that's all of them. So let's just kill them. Got a nice zombie blood. Okay. I'm waiting for them to spawn in just so I can do some of that. The one over there. What's that zombie doing? How does that work? Seriously. There we go. I'll just kill those. He's like praying right now. What is he doing? Quit that. Okay. Sadly those grenades did too as well as I thought it would. But whatever. We are out of zombie blood now. So we are dead. Maybe not. Oh yes. I need that. I was just about to say I'm running low on ammo. Nice. So go ahead and pick up that. Okay. Um, We can't get speed color just yet. So... We might as well just get stamina up for now. Because we still need to open up another debris to get to speed cola. Another couple debris. So yeah, we still got a while before we can get some speed. 